Technically Speaking, the video podcast of Capital Area Technical Center here in Augusta, Maine. Today I'm joined by a special guest. This is Adriana Morley. She is a student in our Certified Nursing Assistant Program, and she has been selected as the February Professional of the Month because of all the great work she does every day at our school. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for joining me. So you're in the CNA program this year, and last year you took the Medical Veterinarian Terminology Program. How do you feel that the Medical Veterinarian Terminology Program prepared you for the CNA course? I feel like that class really taught me the terminology and taught me how to break it down. So I really learned what all the words meant, and it prepared me for the class a lot. <laughs> so do the, the upstairs, the instructors would like students to take the medical veterinarian terminology class before CNA. You think that's a great... I recommend it a lot. It made it a little bit easier this year? Yes, a lot easier. Oh, excellent. With that solid background that you had. Oh, good. So they're right. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What's it like in the CNA course? Well, it's really fun getting to learn new things and then actually being able to do it hands-on, especially in here. It's really fun. Oh, excellent. And that's where we are today. We're in the CNA lab where you do do some of that hands-on practice work. Yep. Excellent, excellent. Um, and about how much of the time do you think you're in your, the classroom compared to being here in the lab? Um, well, we come down sometimes, but it's not like an everyday thing. So, so much more book work than yep. the hands-on, maybe 75%, 25% would you say? or? Um, Maybe a little more. Hands but on. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Just to give people an idea of what it is like. And of course, with the pandemic, usually students are out on clinicals, but yes. with the COVID pandemic, you guys have not been able to yeah, go out yet. Yeah, not. COVID has really made it hard, but we've made it work. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, we've all learned to make things work during this difficult time, and new students have been really really great and flexible about the unknowns going on. Um, So what do you do when you're not here in school? Well, I like to do cheer. So I have practice like three days a week. Excellent. How long have you been doing cheer? Well, I've been doing it since middle school, so a while. Excellent. Excellent. That's a lot of fun for sure. For sure. I've seen the competitions and yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. what do you, I always am interested, is there a medical show or movie that you really like because you're attracted to the medical field? Well, we actually watched a movie in class called Patch Adams with Robin Williams, and it's my new favorite. I loved it. Oh, that is a really good movie. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you want to be like him in the medical field? Yes. Oh, good. I think that we, I think it. I think in life we could use more Patch Adamses, yes, not I just agree. in the medical field, in life. So you are graduating this year, and what are your plans after graduation? So I've committed to KVCC, so I'm in plan for nursing. Oh, so you're going to continue in the yes. medical field with nursing. Excellent, excellent. We are so proud of you and all that you've been able to do. It's interesting because a lot of times you only get students for one year. Yeah. But you've been here for two years, and I can tell you that, um, you know, last year Mrs. Sherman loved ha- Mrs. Sherman, Mrs. Gillum loved having you in class with the medical veterinarian terminology, and this year Mrs. Belanger has nothing but wonderful things to say about you. So we know you're going to do really well in your future. You have a very bright future, and I'm so glad you've been with us for the past two years so we could kind of see your, your journey, and we'll continue continue watching you. You. They're you. both great teachers, so. You enjoyed them? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We're very lucky to have the faculty that we do have here. I mean, both of them have very extensive nursing experience. Yeah. They're very good at teaching, really good at what they do, so. Oh, good. I'm glad you've had a good experience here. Yes. <laughs> and I thank you for watching this episode of um, Technically Speaking, All Things going on at Capital Area Technical Center here in Augusta, Maine. And I hope if you like this video that you'll subscribe to our channel. Thank you for joining us.
for Technically Speaking Capital Area Technical Center's video podcast of all things going on at Capital Area Technical Center here in Augusta, Maine. Today I'm joined by a student that has been selected as a February Professional of the Month. This is Everett Blair and he's in the law enforcement program for the second year this year. So tell, um, tell us, what has your experience in the law enforcement program been like for the past year and a half now? Um, so it's been pretty good. Um, so we go through a lot of Justice Academy based stuff. Um, we go through mic training. We have a great teacher. Um, he goes through a bunch of different modules. And then we also get instructed by Academy instructors and then other um, law enforcement individuals as well that come into the class. Um, so we go through sexual assault, um, different combat trainings. Um, yeah. Well, you weren't kidding when you say that you go through the stuff that happens at the the academy you get a lot of that experience because the instructors come right here in the program yes ma'am they come in just about every week we have a new instructor come in or the same one unbelievable and when you talk about mark training what is that um so it's the arrest techniques um how to go through the proper arrest techniques the justifications on what you use for force deadly and non-deadly force and what you're justified in so I peeked in the window while you're doing mark training. It's just not learning about that on the chalkboard. No, no <laughs> we go hands. Um, so we used to go hands on last year, but now with COVID, we uh, have a uh, punching dummy, and we have um, we go through a bunch of socially distanced activities that work pretty well. That go through all the um, modules. Yeah, definitely. So you are getting your hands on and doing that that training still. Yes, Unbelievable. So what do you think has been your greatest ex um, experience here in the probably, program? Probably as a second year student going on, on ride-alongs. I was able to ride to the state police and go nights and day shift. Um, so I got to understand firsthand what they go through, what their patrols are like. And just, it was a good experience to show me what I want in the future. Wow, excellent. So actual ride-alongs. Now, how long a shift did you go on when you went on? Um, so my nights, I went from 6 to 11 or 12-ish. And then during the days, I went from about um, 9.30 till 4. Wow, so it wasn't just like a quick one-hour thing. You no. really got to see what they... Yeah, it was just about all day or all evening. And are the, are the main state police, were they busy? Oh, uh, yeah, we were pretty busy on, in the nights. Days were a little slow the day I went, but they were picked up the next day. Excellent. So anything stand out that you saw in those shifts that you went on? Uh, I just had a real good time. It really pushed on what I wanted. It uh, just gave me more of a reason to go into law enforcement, I guess. Oh, what an opportunity, that's excellent. So what do you do when you're not here in school? Um, I do a lot of outdoor stuff, hunting, fishing, hiking, just stuff to keep me active and have a good time. So you like being outside? Yeah. Oh, great. And uh, you know, being interested in law enforcement, I just, for fun, do you have any favorite TV show or probably, movie? Probably North Coast Law. That really got me into <laughs> wanting to become a game warden, so. Oh, that's an excellent. I love that show too, yeah. Northwoods Law. That is a really good one. Do they are they still filming it? Do we know? Um, I think in, they're down south in like New Hampshire, somewhere lower New England states. Oh, so it's still active and yeah. they're still doing. Yeah, I learn a lot from the New Hampshire ones too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting show. So you're graduating this year. Congratulations. Um, what are your plans after graduation? Uh, so I ship out to go to basic training for the National Guard in July. Then I'll come back and start studying at University of Maine and Chias in the spring semester. Oh, excellent. Now, do you have an, are, you're going to be studying criminal justice? In, um, actually, I'll be studying wildlife biology just to wildlife give me biology. more of an edge on the wildlife spectrum for our game warden. And that, so that's your ultimate goal? Yeah, my ultimate goal is to become a warden. Oh, congratulations. That's a great goal. Yeah. Um, Mr. Kucher certainly has enjoyed having you in the program for the past couple of years. And it's we don't have a lot of students that come back for two years, so it's nice being able to see how you have grown in the past two years and I just think you have a bright future ahead of you and I hope you keep in touch with us and I let did. us know what yeah. you're doing and hopefully you'll be a guest instructor for Mr. Kucher one, so. one day. I hope so, one day. All right, thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate the offer. And thank you for joining us on um, Technically Speaking and I hope if you like this episode that you'll subscribe to our um, podcast so you'll never miss anything, all things related to Capital Area Technical Center.